What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? Greg here today. I am going to react to the trailer number Dose for Dune Part Dose. I saw the first one uh, three times in the theaters. I am so excited for the ultimate IMAX experience for Part 2. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you could sandworm right over. I don't know. I was trying to make that work. It wasn't the like button. I'm saying the like button thing. You said, please go ahead and do that. For those wondering, hey, where's your uh, trailer reaction co-host, John? Well, uh, I don't know. I called him five times. You should know by now if you're a follower of this channel. <laughs> That's how it goes. Alrighty, let's get to it. This world is beyond cruelty. We've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. God, My family's been fighting them for centuries. It's so good to be back here. They were massacred. This bleak ass my world. Father. My father didn't believe in revenge. We believe in Fremen. Let me fight beside you. Reload! Hell yeah. Who doesn't love Zendaya, man? He said that. I got that. Thanks. I won't be fighting for him. I'm fighting for my people. You young pop. Do you believe in Paul? There are signs. Guys. <laughs> Scoots buffs everywhere. Right Why is that a bad thing? Use it. Because all my visions lead to horror. Because you lose control. Because I gain it. Oof. What a great cautionary line. Believe in me. Paul Atreides is still alive. Oh. Don't. Sad one. But this prophet. Show me who you are. Your father. Was a weak man. Ah, uh, that's not what you want to say. Look who's back from the dead. No do what must be done. We oh. gave them something to hope for. That's not hope! A great mirroring shot. As long as I breathe. This prophecy is how they enslave us! It's not a prophecy. It's a story. I don't care what you believe. I believe. I am Paul Mordeev Atreides! How fucking great does this look, man? Uncle Rackus! Under the blue sea, Uzzaka! Oh, yes. You can destroy a thing has the real control of it. God, I am loving... I am. I mean, there's so much to look forward to with this movie, but one of the things I'm absolutely loving about, especially with this trailer, Timothy Chalamet, man. He was so much more, like, restrained in the first movie. You know, he's giving, like, a real um, internal subdued performance. Here, all that, like, darkness and rage is just simmering and, and, and just rising to the surface. He looks so powerful here. I love how this is so much... A reflection this entire trailer is just his descent his descent and ascension both into like power and darkness seeing him say lines like long live the fighter and he who can destroy a thing has the real control of it they were just hitting home so much because so much of like paul atreides character is there like a reflection or a study of power destiny and and humanity overall after watching the setup where you have all this like good political and religious intrigue with him. Here we get to see him go full blown with these like astronomical abilities, showcase even more how much of a strategist he is, but also get to see him fully form into a leader. For Walken especially, because you know, like Christopher Walken is someone something of a meme himself, but 
I can tell he's given his gravitas here. He's he's committed to giving a dramatic performance. And just in these little glimpses that you get of him, you could feel he is a shrewd character, cunning side, that ruthless side. Everything about his presence on screen, too, it just left an impact. And, you know, of course, you know, getting to see more of Zendaya. Chani is her name. And getting to see more of her character here which I, I liked every glimpse that we got as well because it feels like such a great demonstration of strength and resilience, getting to see her skill set while submerged into warfare. So I feel like it's really going to pay off super well after everything we wanted to see from her in part one. And now we're going to see it all brought to life here in part two, but also the conflicts that she's going to run into with Paul here. I feel like her and Timothy Chalamet are going to have some great scene work together. And also, you know, we got more of, you know, so, you know, we got more teases of Dave Bautista. I'm looking forward to seeing a little bit more of his cruel and brutish side. Seems like there's going to be something real personal there with him and Gurney. Gurney's back. Gurney's back, too. Kind of wish they reserved that scene where they reunite, even though we all knew he was coming back. I kind of wish they reserved that scene for when I'm watching it for the first time. But, you know, they, they got to do their marketing. And Josh Brown's a household name. So I, I enjoyed seeing that. And he I love I love the updated look. But just overall, I thought the trailer was genuinely great. So much of here focused on the, the concept of, you know, prophecy versus story, predestinations and mysticisms versus something real or imagined. The conflicts that come into hand with a belief system and how that affects it and what's real and what isn't real. Overall, you know, as someone who loves just strong visuals, I am so beyond excited for this because I believe this entire movie was fully shot in IMAX. And I forget the actual numbers of things, but like I'm an IMAX enthusiast and like out here in Los Angeles, there's a bunch of IMAX screens, but there's very few that are the that are considered real IMAX. Like there's one at Universal City Walk where if you go to like an IMAX down the street from Universal City Walk, you see such a vast difference in scope and size. And I feel like this movie is truly taking advantage of using those IMAX cameras and will really get to immerse you into that scope and size. The last one, they did have a marketing with it where they probably led a lot of people into thinking that there's going to be a little bit more action than the movie actually delivered. Still, a lot of people really love that film, which is really cool to see because it's mainly, you know, story and set up for what's to come for here. And I feel like here is where you get this big cathartic payoff for everything that's going to be happening because the action looks incredible. The visuals look incredible. This just feels like so war torn and weary and battle heavy. Uh, it, it just feels so goddamn exciting. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm really excited for Doom Part 2. I, I can't wait to watch this. What did you guys think about this second trailer? Leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and last but not least, before we go, let's end this with a pick. <laughs> Ricardo Martinez. Ricardo, I want to say thank you so much for um, being a part of our Patreon page for so long. Uh, if there's anyone at our Patreon page, who I would follow into battle, who would be the Paul Atreides of our Patreon page. Well, that 100% would be you. You're the only one at our Patreon who has experience in the military. You you are a veteran yourself. So, yeah, I mean, it just logically makes sense that there's no one else I'm going to follow. You're the only one who I, I feel like we would have strategist abilities and, and we would really know how to lead and guide. So, th thank you. Thank you. You'll keep us safe. And I appreciate you for keeping us safe at all times and for always looking out for us and being one of the best members, one of the best citizens of the reject nation ever. And more than that, you're a super sexy reject. Ricardo, thank you, buddy, for always dropping a good comment our way and for just being an ultimate supporter in our life. I can't wait to follow you into battle and watch you ride a sandworm, my friend.